Good afternoon. I'm Ju Thiel, obstetrician, gynecologist, and fertility specialist in Perth. Today, I'm going to show you a group of models showing different stages of labor. I think it is fascinating. Right, let me turn over my phone to show you. Here we are. A series of models showing different stages of labor. Let's go through them. This is a womb with a baby inside. Um, this womb is uh, pre-labor, not in labor at all. If you look closely, the they're trying to show the afterbirth sticking on the uterus, the womb, and the, the, the blood flow to the womb, give the, give the placenta, the afterbirth, the nutrient, the, the oxygen that baby needs, and pass on through the cord to the baby. This is the cervix, not in labor, nice and long and thick, protecting the baby inside the womb. The second one shows early labor. You can see the cervix, the neck of the womb, starts to thin and open up. Baby's head comes lower down or descent into the vagina. Further on, you can see this baby's head is uh, pressing on even further, and this is the cervix. It's opened up, dilating a little bit more with pressure from baby's head, and certainly it's quite thin. This model includes babies, uh, uh, include, includes uh, mother's uh, pelvic bone. All right, this is a stage that after the cervix fully dilated, the mum push, the head is being delivered. Uh, out from the vagina. You can see they're trying to show the cervix inside there. It's all fully dilated. It's fully open and baby's head can be pushed out. And after the head's been delivered, further pushing, baby can be delivered out from the uterus, the womb. And you can see from here, uh, the cord is still connected to the uh, placenta. The blood still flowing through for the first couple of a minute or so, or sometimes a little bit longer. The blood still flowing, still pumping. This is when you do a delayed cord clamping. You can leave it on for a minute or two um, until the blood clotted over. When the blood uh, is clotted over, you can clamp and release the baby, free the baby, and if baby is well, can go to the mum straight away for skin to skin. After that, you can see the womb, the uterus here, starts to contract. So after the baby is being born, you can see the blood vessels in the, uh, in the womb. Now contraction squeeze the blood vessels, so that stops the bleeding coming through the womb as compared to, uh, you know, to this one. You can see the blood vessels, if it don't contract, if it doesn't contract, then it can have blood flow and cause quite a, lot, quite a bit of bleeding from the womb. And sometimes we need to give a bit of medications to help the contractions, to enhance the contraction. And, uh, and you can see, you know, we squeeze it to stop the bleeding and also squeezing deliver the placenta out. Um, and uh, this is the uh, process. After the placenta is being delivered, you can see the uterus actually contracts. It becomes much smaller than this model. Um, again, to stop the blood flow, um, just to you know, reduce the bleeding. So here we go, different stages of labor. I think it is a very good model. That's it. Goodbye.